is my patient, Nick. Nick does mixed martial arts, weightlifting, surfing, horse MMA, and horse rugby. I'll be honest, I had never heard of these sports until treating Nick. This is his second visit in my office, and during the session he states, I can hear. <laughs> like chiropractic's first patient whose hearing was restored, this video is a reminder of the power of chiropractic when performed correctly. In this video, we will be discussing our founder's first patient, William Harvey Lillard, and the restoration of his hearing. Horse rugby, sweating, traumatic brain injury, digestion, Rambo. I know, what's Rambo doing in a chiropractic video? Brain performance, muscle testing, temporomandibular joint, James Bond, I know, I know, a patient's seatbelt, about mental alertness. I feel way more. <laughs> feel more awake, right? Yeah. More present? This is our case study. Yeah, how are you after your last visit? Good, really good. Rested really well, I was like super, like, like alert. Yeah. And then I, Went circling with all the dudes and got hammered and I sparred and got hammered again. Nick came in, he's had a lot of TBIs. He got referred from an, a colleague of mine. Nick's first adjustment consisted of getting adjusted at the C0, C1 joint to get his skull on his neck for his adjustment. And he was saying he felt more alert and he had more energy. Nick from the top, leg straight. You push up for me, go. <sighs> that one did actually cramping. Go! Yeah, it didn't work out. So my goal with him one day is to get this sensitivity down. I don't know if we're going to be able to do it. Push up. Push up for me. The sensitivity of the stroke? Yeah, see how he jumps? Yeah. So the hope is we can knock that down someday. Push up for me. Nick, push out. Push out. Go, Nick, go! <laughs> push towards me. Okay, there you go. Push towards the door. Good, push towards your hip. Okay, so that one's no good. Push towards your hip. This is the pattern we see with Nick. Lower body inhibition and upper body or muscle facilitation with inhibition of his right latissimus dorsi. So we're gonna find out where to that. Let's go see what C1 has to offer. Mobilization of the C1 has no impact on his leg strength. Push up, no change. However, gapping his TMJ facilitates all lower body muscles. Nick, open, bite. Kick it out, there's the right old school. Push up. <laughs> Push up, leg straight, go. Yeah. This is a comparison. Nick thinks one leg is cramping and one leg has been overtrained. For Nick, these perceptions are accurate until we gap his TMJ. Now Nick can feel the difference in the strength of his lower body. This is awesome. Yeah. I want to keep saying <laughs> <laughs> <Isn't> that something? <laughs> Here I gap the right side of the TMJ to see if facilitation of his lower extremities continues. It does not. Not a whip, you know? And we're allowed to only hold it in our mouth, okay? <laughs> so this is what Nick means. Notice how he's holding the whip in his mouth. So imagine being in a combat sport and chewing on something, what that does to the TMJ. It was like, I thought he was f***ing me the first time he came in. <laughs> and he says he plays like a horse rugby, and I thought, like Rambo? Oh, he showed me that. So here's what I mean. In this pocket up here, when people close their jaw off properly, you can't get up here. So you have them open their mouth a little bit okay. and bring the jaw a little bit towards me, Nick. And that allows me to ah! Five, four, three, two, one. That was awesome. Remember that for your opponent. Yeah. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, that was kick ass, dude. So end. And then have him bring the jaw a little bit towards you. All right. Five, four, three, two, one. Don't punch me, Nick. Yes, sir. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Turn your head a little oh, bit. This one's freaking me out, man. It's okay. This is a jaw adjustment, not a neck. All right. Open for me. Close. Open. Close. One more time. Open for me. Did you get warm? 
Yeah, I'm like breaking this way. Got a quick. So I always go hand here on patients when we're the table's up as a seat belt. So I'll roll the patient, hand goes here, keeps them from falling off. Then I'll lower my headpiece and pull towards your back, towards your butt. Oh. Yep. Try again. Good. Try this one. So, try again for me. All right, you rest. When I watched the video of Casino Royale, I thought no man can tolerate that level of pain. This movie is too unreal. Then I met Nick. He could stand in for James Bond's 007 character. On a serious note, caution must be applied when combining massage and chiropractic on all patients, especially patients with traumatic brain injuries. Excessive stimulation may exceed the metabolic capacity of neurons and increase neuronal damage. Caution should always be used when combining those two modalities on any patient. Nick, I'm going to pull you towards me. I will not let you fall. <laughs> Do a simple sacral adjustment on him. How was the... How'd you like the jaw adjustment? Yeah, how, how was... The, what the hell did you do? Well, we adjusted it, right? Yeah. You feel better? Yeah. I can hear. <laughs> so you said he can hear better. Interesting. What does he mean by that? So remember, our founder yeah. helps people... Harvey Lillard. The first chiropractic patient William Harvey Lillard was said to have his hearing restored after being adjusted. A note of trivia, Harvey Lillard is buried in the same cemetery as Bruce Lee and his son. So this is the key, when a patient feels more alert, that's what we want after care. I didn't do anything to his ears. What happened? His perception of sound is better, his brain is working better. He has better control over his muscles, his vision will be a little clearer, his taste buds will be a little sharper. So that's what we get. The downside to making the brain work better is you make more free radicals. So people should always be on their antioxidants. So to reiterate this point, when we stimulate the brain through the body, we can calm down sensations such as pain or ticklishness, or in this case, hypersensitivity. What were you getting there? Is the uh, back of his tongue. Did you get warm from that? Yeah. People have head injuries. It decreases the 10th cranial nerve's ability to control digestion. Wait, say that again? When a person has head injuries, yeah. it decreases their 10th cranial nerve's ability to do digestion. Really? Because I know hardly digestion. You've had a lot of head injuries. You want to go for a walk? Say sure. you feel. Yeah. Oh. How do you feel? Good. Broken gnarly sweat. How's your body feel? Good. Really good. He's a lot more uh, even now. I feel way more aware. You feel more awake, right? Yeah. More present. Thanks, Doctor. Thank you. I appreciate it.